Right. I think I found the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> Right, welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna to do something really boring. We're gonna service a modern car. But to make it more fun, we're gonna, we, as Dan. Hello. We're gonna make it a challenge. It's a Fiat 500, it's Italian. On, even on the Italian that, that beers. Too, yeah, we're lubricating ourselves as well Other as the car. Other beers are available. Other beers Variety are available. Um, but because Italians love food and stuff, we thought, why don't we time it? and see what kind of Italian dish you could make in that time. So, I reckon you could only on. boil pasta. Shall we have a look what Jamie Oliver's spag bol time is from start to finish? You're underestimating us. I reckon that's going to be, at, at best, maybe some pasta. Right, go on, what's the spag bol? So, year? this is the Jamie Oliver spaghetti bolognese. Feeding six, super easy, like this service. Yeah. An hour and 15 minutes. Now, these are the ingredients you need to make the spag bol, but we've got some ingredients for the car <laughs> yes. over here. Right, so this was a eBay purchase. How, how many pounds did it cost you? 42 British pounds. Delivered? Delivered. Some bargains. See, that is inflation busting bargain, that is. And look, the packaging is amazing. It's so good, it's so sturdy. Not even lying, look, 42 quid. There you go. Unboxing Get into video. Oh, look, Unboxing box. video. Mate, it Posh. is Bosch. And then our favourite oh, oil brand. OG, Man Oil. Man Oil, Oil, oil of the Man, and Energy Premium. And a real sump plug. So you've got cabin filter, oil filter, air filter. Is this, yeah. Is your mother-in-law going to appreciate the Bosch uh, Premium? I'm sure she will. Yeah. She loves um, nice clothes and what have you, so. Nice cars. Nice cars. Nice cars. Yeah. Clearly is the beast anyway. Um, this is the third one of these we've had. Oh yeah, it's the third 500 you've had with a cloth roof. No, we've had... Oh no, they have all been convertibles. They've all been convertibles. That's, yeah. how, that's the banter. That's... This is the uh, Mark II version with the LED. It's got oh, LEDs yeah. on it and stuff. Oh yeah, it's got these things. Yeah, all the boys re retrofit in the... Uh, and well, then the... the interior. Oh, is that a tartan cloth? It's quite a nice spec. Is that... <laughs> the helmet is perfect. Oh, <laughs> so... that's because I went down to go and pick it up on the scooter. Ah, that's product placement right there for Bell. But... Oh yeah, she's doesn't even smell. It smells, still smells like the no, uh, rental nice. car that I picked up that was brand new. So it's quite nice. Quite right, so nice. shall I start the timer from when we jack it up? So I think we we should be allowed to get the tools out Let's ready. Let's go find the jacks. Time is uh, sponsored not by Rolex but by Casio today. Um, I'm going to put the stopwatch on this when we start going, and I'll film it so you can see I'm not cheating and stuff. Okay. Right, we've got everything out ready to go. Timer. Tools, kit. A bucket for some reason. That's windy. We've got the jacks ready to go. Bonnet hasn't even been opened yet. Don't even know where the bonnet release is. Right. Well, how do uh, I start this? Here we go. I don't even know how to use this stopwatch. I've not used it yet, so. Let's go. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to open the bonnet. <laughs> yeah, we're doing plugs as well, so. Air filter looks like it needs these little tiny bolts on it. Are you doing plugs as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a proper oh, no, you haven't got plugs. No, all right, we're, that's, not doing plugs. we're not doing plugs, that's a favourite job. Right, I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll, I'll spill the oil all over your driveway. That's my favourite job. <laughs> uh. I've got like an hour. No, we haven't, I want to do it before we cook pasta. That's my goal. Right. I don't know what goal you're on. I'm pushing the boat out here, look. A minute in. I need to go and get Ooh, close, close. Barely had to jack this thing up. Do you, do you want to open the... Um... Yeah. It's windy today, so... Ooh, something up, all nice, not too tight. Ooh. Are you out already? Almost, I'm at finger level. Told you. There we go. There we go. Don't need the sump nut, do we? No, there's a new one. Into the oil it goes. Have you got any towel or I've got the cloth uh, that I can use? Because yeah. at the moment I'm doing pretty well at not getting it on your drive. Gravel, isn't it? Gravel, I know, but. Oh no, there goes the wind. Oh yeah, so. He was trying to get these bolts out for the air filter. Who knew that was going to be a pain in the ass? Let's get into the messy garage and try and find such a small air f uh, oil filter. I can't find a bloody car specific tools. Are you just 
did have a strappy boy, didn't they? There's a strappy boy. That'll do. Yeah. Let's give that a go. Hopefully it's not on too tight anyway. We can find out. Trying is the first step towards failure. So we've got the uh, airbox bolts out. This one was unbelievably fiddly. Old filter, bit of pigeon on there. How are we getting on with the um, oil filter, Jason? I, I just sort of don't think it needs changing. Nah, it does. <laughs> I can't get it, it in. You've not got the rat. You Tell can't get some. it in. Have you got one of those big grabby sticky things? That, I don't have a grabby sticky thing, no. Okay, so the uh, filter strap keeps slipping. So I've got a bit of a hat going on. Bit of 120 grit. Other grits may work. We'll find out in a minute. <laughs> Sandpaper. Yeah, mate. It's a hack. I'll tell you what it is. It's because this is basically a panda, isn't it? Uh, yeah, with a shoehorned into a smaller sh chassis. So that's why you end up with sh like this, where you can't actually get to. I'll tell you what, it must be easier if you take this pipe off. No, it's not, honestly. I've just yeah, taken... My hands are huge. <laughs> it's shovel hands. Ow. Oh, yeah, Is still... the thing still under there, the strap? Uh, probably. Okay, cool. Let's give it a go. Right, apparently this oil filter is turning, but I don't see it. And the strap's broken. You you, it broke the strap. It broke the strap. Surely now those pliers I gave you would do the rest, though. Something like that. Well, it didn't slip. Okay. It actually we, turned. We now have a really bent oil filter. Oh yeah, that's a bit. It's a bit dinged, isn't it? <laughs> I'm gonna tie this universal oil filter. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about those. Available for any good screw fix, Halfords. Or Dad's garage. I feel like this is going to end badly and it's just going to rip the can apart, but... Uh, Wait, what is, what is that oil filter made of? Made of unobtainium. Yeah. And we wanted Chinesium. There we go. There we go. Right, so we want to be... It's pierced the hole. Ooh. It's like a... What were you gonna say then? Was it broadcastable? Yeah. It's like oh, a that's a mess. Game of speed now. <laughs> that is a real mess. Oh, is that moving? Yeah, that's of course it that. is. Look at that. What do you do now, though? Pull the spanner out. Pull the spanner. Pull that out, and twist the rest with your hands. <laughs> this is horrible. Yeah. Well, you. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I think I found the thumbnail. It's <laughs> <laughs> the oil leaking down <laughs> the, the screwdriver. It's like an ongoing thing with your videos. The oil ends up going f***ing everywhere. I know, it's my curse, mate. <laughs> oh, I was going to tell you, actually, I need to borrow your uh, blowtorch if I can. Oh, yeah. Apparently you can burn it off the driveway, and I'd love to try it. Okay. So, anyway, back to the current job. In other news. That's going to fall in the oil. Lovely. It, the, the sump didn't have this much oil in it. Right, I think we have to have another go at this. No, I know. I reckon you can spit it by hand now. Hand job. I reckon it's a hand job. Just watch your hands on the frayed metal. Am I right? That's moving, isn't it? Or not? <sighs> no. Right, okay. Another. I've never seen one need two. Another turn bites the dust. Yeah. This is so entertaining for me. I'm not even doing the air cabin filter, I'm just watching this. Let's have another go. My hand. Hand. Hand job. What do I feel like the casting of the engine is going to come with this oil filter when it comes out? Christ. Is it still. It's going. It's gone. Thank God. Right, I'm going to do the bloody. Let's have a look at the state of this thing. It's still, still oil. Oil. Why is there so much in it? I thought it was only a one point two. Yeah, well, I was just saying. Sixty involved, isn't it? <laughs> the, the sump drained in about thirty right. seconds. That thing took about three hours. Yeah, that's pretty, uh, pretty toast. Cooper Fram, you put up a fight, but uh, your day is done. Right, I'm seeing a bit Fram lad. Fram lad, right? I'm gonna carry on doing what I was doing before. Right. 
looking at the internet, apparently the cabin filter's in here somewhere in this little kick plate area, so. Yeah, this is, well, I'm guessing it's factory wiring. It's got a standard radio in it. No one's messed with it, but there's your cabin filter all the way back in there with two bolts, right? <laughs> you can't see it from where you are, Dan. And then there's this going into this quad lock thing, which I don't know where that's going, but what's this doing hanging off it with a wire going into the box? And it's just like, just hanging about. This was a Friday afternoon, or, a, or just before lunchtime, Italian car built this. Right. The torque's back on this. Yes. Okay, one, two, three. Got it. Were the threads, <laughs> were the threads flush when you took it out? I don't remember. I just whizzed it out, mate. All right, that's tight enough. Yeah, it's probably a conical thing. Yeah. Um, I'm just trying to find, I think I've just found the right socket for this, which is good. Um, so that's one of two coming out. All right, luckily, I bought my tools because this thing requires, well, it was a 5.5 mil spanner to work. That's an eight. So the cabin filter is causing all the mayhem, and I'll show you why. Might as well bring this with me. So the problem we've got now is because Tony wanted to get to his fourth meal of that afternoon quicker, he just wanged in some more different bolts, because they all have different heads, all these bolts you take off. And then this one is super close. Yeah, all right. Look at that. It's tiny. I need like a little tiny spanner. I mean, I've got the socket head, socket for it. It's not exactly deep and it won't fit in there. So I'm a bit, what the hell do you do with that? There's got to be a tiny spanner somewhere or something I can use. Maybe a, a tiny multi-tool. Hmm. Do we just throw the towel in on this one? Because we, oh, we, we don't have the tool. We do not have the means to take this bolt off it's also slightly recessed. You see that? Have you just started cutting the plastic away? <laughs> Larry Long Nose might have a <laughs> Yeah, there. Larry Long Nose. Snip, snip. I'm gonna just pour some oil all over this car and then set fire to it. So. How will you get the new one back in, in a relative? That is disgusting though. Um, I may have had a bit of an accident. Yeah. I was free pouring it like a Greek barman and I uh, I put it in there and because of the little thin bit, it was a nightmare. Can you open that for me, please? Yeah, now, that's not an advertisement for Milwaukee. Product placement. M18. Um, well, you're going to need some more of them then, aren't you? Yeah, I may have spilled a bit of oil and I've only put like a litre and a bit in. That's it's not gone well. I think you need a better funnel. No, I've got a good funnel. Where is it? You were just using it. <laughs> it's not a good funnel. It overflowed immediately. When I was free pouring, I got more in. No, you, you don't want to use it. It's easier to free pour. Look, you're not getting much. <laughs> Patience. It's like 2.7 or something. Just look at the time check. Over 40 minutes, and most of that's been that cabin filter that you haven't put back in yet. Uh, for about... I put half of the thing in. Whoa. Oh, there you go. Ah. Right. Uh, <laughs> Dan, can you explain something to me? Yeah, I undid the plastic off the plastic. Oh, you, know, <laughs> you undid the plastic off the plastic? Yeah, that, that's... that's Top tip, anyone watching who wants to service one of these, it's much easier just to... Undo the just undo the plastic than it is the bolt, which is probably still in there. Yes, it is. And then just knife the bottom it back on. And then just... I'm not even going to do that. It, it's going to be fine. It's got clips and a bolt. What more does it need? Right. I tell you what it does need. It needs a new air filter. Do you remember which way this one was in as well? The one that's in like a million pieces. Did you remember which way the airflow was? No. I'm going to say it's up. Right, well... I mean, it's in and it looks flat this end. I mean, I did have to just smush the thing in there. <laughs> I, had to, I had to thumb it in, Dan, but it's in. Time, 43 minutes. I'm just about to, let me check the oil. What's the damage? 
49, 46. Oh no, we've not checked the, uh, we've not run it yet and checked the height, the oil on the stick. Oh, it's, it's done. There's oil in it. Yeah. It's done. Come on, where's the tools out? Let's start it up and check that. No, oh. no, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. oh and um, for anyone that doesn't know, if you are wanting to reset the service light on this car, I've already done it, but if you turn the key into position two. It's just a stab on the... Uh... So you have Christmas tree, and then press the accelerator three times within 10 seconds. One, two, three. And then turn off the ignition. And if you had a spanner here, you wouldn't have a spanner here now. You're making a bit of a state of that seat. Right then, we need to do a quick outro. Okay. It's done. That was 49 minutes and 46 seconds. All in time before the heavens opened. Before the rain, and it was only about two beers. So that's a quick, that's a quick. Not very good on the beers though. Not very good on the beers, Should but. Should have had, a, had at least four or five beers. I know, but, the, but if it wasn't for that oil filter and that cabin filter, we'd have been laughing. But yeah, there she is. All done. Quick detail tomorrow morning. Bit of a clean tomorrow, full service for it. Get some brownie points back there. To, back to the uh, mother-in-law. Yeah, right. Bye. Ciao like for now. Oh yeah, wait, like, subscribe. Oh yeah. Say you it. never say that. Say it. Like and subscribe to the channel. You heard. <laughs>